Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to set up authorize.net with e-commerce MVC. Before watching this video, you will need to set up your e-commerce MVC project. You can find the video to set up e-commerce MVC in the playlist. So, e-commerce MVC uses authorize.net to process credit card transactions. For that, you will need to create an authorize.net account. Let's go to authorize.net website. Let's open it. Here you can find developers option in the top menu. Click on it. From here you can go to the developer center. This is developer.authorize.net. Here you can find all the API reference, developer guides and basic hello world applications of authorized.net implementation in all kinds of programming languages. Create a sandbox account. This is for using authorized.net as a sandbox account. If you are trying to use authorized.net for actual transactions, you will need to create an actual account. For the demo purposes, we are going to create a sandbox account. Let's create a sandbox account. Here you will need to add your first name, last name and country and other information. Let's enter our information. You can select any kind of currency here. Let's select US dollars. Let's create a login ID. This login ID will be used to log into your account. Let's click on submit. Before that, I would like to copy this login ID. Now you can log into your sandbox account. Click on sign in. Here you can find the sandbox link. Now we have logged into our sandbox account at authorize.net. Let's go to account. We need to get API credentials and keys from authorize.net account. Let's go to security section and find API credential and keys. Here you will need to create your login ID and the transaction key. You can find your login ID here. Copy this. Go to the source code. Open e-commerce MVC. Find web.config file. Here go to the app settings section and find authorize.net config keys. You can add API login ID into the value. Let's get the API transaction key. Click on create new transaction key.
enter our pin copy this uh, transaction key to your clipboard go back to the web.config file and enter the value here save this file you have successfully set up authorize.net with e-commerce MVC you can easily process authorize.net transaction on e-commerce MVC now you will receive an email from authorize.net every time any user perform a credit card transaction if you have any questions related to authorize.net integration in e-commerce MVC you can ask me on my email sajjadaribgul at gmail.com or you can ask in the comments thank you for watching bye